Hi there everyone, in this video today I'm going to be talking about linear inequalities. So this is the third video in the quadratic series for P1 Mathematics for CIE. So linear inequalities are a little bit different from uh, linear equations that you have studied at school previously, I'm sure, plenty of times. Uh, things like these ones here, where we're trying to find the value of a variable that makes that equation true. And in each case, there's only one value that makes those equations true. So in the first one, it's A equals 2, B equals negative 1 works for the second one, and 3 for C in the last one makes those equations true. Okay, so they're called equations. In equations are ones that have one of these signs in them, or these symbols in them, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. Not crocodiles here. So we're reading left to right, so... Uh, we always know what those signs mean and the, the names of those signs. So when you're solving inequalities, it's the exact same process that you use for solving equations, but there's just one thing that we have to remember. So a few examples and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you look at this one here, um, my first step here is I've subtracted 3x from both sides. So 2x minus 3x gives us negative x, and then I've subtracted 4 from both sides, okay? And doing that, 2 minus 4 gives me negative 2 on that right-hand side there. So when I've done that, I get down to this negative x is less than negative 2. All right. And then my last step here, I've divided both sides by negative 1 to go from here to here. So when I divide by negative 1, when an inequality, we need to change the direction of the sign. Okay, so notice that the sign changes direction. So if x values are greater than 2, this inequality here will be satisfied. So if I put something like 3 in there, I get 2 times 3, 6 plus 4, 10 on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, if I put 3 in there, I get uh, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. So 10 is less than 11. Yep, that works. And in fact, any x values bigger than 2 will make that inequality work. So there's infinitely many values of x that makes this inequation work. Quick explanation as to why you need to do this. Uh, let's take a really simple example. 2 is greater than 1. That's pretty obvious. So here's our number line. 1, 2. Now if I multiply both of the sides of this inequality right here by negative 1, I get this. Now is that true? Let's check this out. Negative 1, negative 2 is negative 2, negative 2, here it is here, is that bigger than negative 1? Well, actually, no, it's not. If we're looking at a number line here, we would definitely say that negative 2 is less than negative 1. So notice, when I've multiplied both sides by a negative, in order for the inequality to remain valid, I have to swap the direction of the inequality. And that's it. When you're solving an equations, that's the main thing that you have to remember. If you multiply both sides by a negative number, swap around that inequality sign and you are all good. So this last example here, uh, I've subtracted 4 from both sides going from here to here. And then to go from here to here, I have divided by negative 5. 10 divided by negative 5 on the right hand side is negative 2. And you'll see here, because I've divided by negative, I swap the direction of the sign. So that's it, linear inequalities.